Okay, uh, let's kind of do it this way. First off, this old building is way over 100 years old. Construction started in 1905, and it wasn't finished until 1913. All of the wiring and uh, the conduit, most all of it's gone from here. When they built Nick and Jack, they robbed everything out of here and took it down there uh, because they were in such a hurry. Hmm. Um, this main entryway here would have been full of big power transmission lines, that sort of stuff. This large room here, this is where the generators were. Um, I think there were uh, 12 here, if I remember right, but they were really large. I've got some old photographs to show you too. All right. Okay, where the building construction changes, see the style changes? Mm -hmm. That extra area down there was added in 1952, it's what they call the powerhouse extension. That allowed them to put two very large turbines and the generator assemblies in the sunken area up there. These old slots and stuff, this is where the, we can't really see in that one, just some yeah, others. We this is uh, drive belts, this one's clogged up. We'll yeah. find one we can see. But the, uh, there were drive belts that came up through the floor to run part of the generator drives. Each generator had its own turbine, though. Uh, each generator had a three-fan turbine. I wish this was wrong. Here we go. You got one? Yeah, here's one. See the pulley? There would have oh, been a big, yeah. a big belt come up through here for the part of the generator drive. Now, the generators, I'm not exactly sure how that worked, but the generators set with a vertical shaft, and it each had its own turbine on it. All of that down there is flooded. You can see the water oh, yeah. down there. Um, there is a staircase here, but you guys are not supposed to go down. Check this out. Yeah, this, this is, is where the kids used to come. <laughs> yeah, all the way from the other side of the river. When so the dam was completed, the, the school was only on one side of the river. Right. So, and the only way across the river was a bridge that was down there about where the other one is now. Right. Uh, so that was too far to go. So for quick. And for you know, for quickness and, and ease, uh, but the school children every day would come in these in these staircases down to the lowest levels of the dam. There was a tunnel at the base of the dam that went under the dam, under the river, all the way to the other side. Damn! And it was a very narrow tunnel. Um, I've been working with a lady who actually was one of the school children. Mm -hmm. She is 91 years old. And she said it was always wet, water spraying in there, and that if you met someone going the other way, that you had to rub up against one another, that it was that narrow. Wow. So, so when I was here, I was doing the a AEVPS, the children talking. Uh -huh. Right. I put it right here. It went Periscope nuts. 360 started going it off. Went uh, nuts. Temper scope was going off. K2s were going off. Wow. Because yeah. I was triggering. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, Maybe we can see now, that tonight. We downloaded that. We've been playing with that in here a little bit, too. It, it always gets a reaction. Because it's a child, I think that it's less threatening to them. It right. It seems to be anyway. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of activity in this room here. Okay. But it's such a large area. And part of it's my fault. They know to dodge a K2 meter. We, are, we really well, don't a use A lot K2s. of people don't use them anymore, but, you know, I run tours. Mm -hmm. And for me to do the tour, you know, it's, you've got to put a little show into it. Right. So the K2 meters light up and everything. But I used to come in and ask them to make my lights blink. And now they know that that's a giveaway, and they will skirt around it outside the range of it. But uh, you'll get They're activity. They're smart. You, yeah, they are. They, <laughs> they are very intelligent in here. It, it's very intelligent entities. Uh, some of them are all about playing tricks. Like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, but, but I mean, they do it often. And if, if you're not really open to it or thinking about it, you won't realize it until it's been five minutes after it happened. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, that's what that was. I just got touched. Yeah. Yeah. But the best one lately, uh, we were in here uh, about where she's at now. Mm -hmm. Tap me on the top of the head like that. But uh, going down here, we'll show you this other part okay. down here. Oh. Uh, there is Cold Joe? Yes, a little. <laughs> there is a shadow man on this floor. Alright. We like shadow people. We like him too. He's uh he's not 
really so nasty. Huh. He's more of a jokester or trickster. Oh, those are fun. Well, instead of being mean and foul, he's more about, let's just have fun. Yeah. You know, which is a little odd. Um, this lower level here, of course, would not have been flooded. That's where they added the new turbines in the 50s. Um, this is where the whirlpool is too. The oh yeah. Famous whirlpool. Have you been here before? Oh yeah. Yeah. I've but, seen uh, Indian ancestors in it. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's not. I know. He didn't curse it either. What he said was, it's a cursed place, and I don't know why anyone would want it. That's what he said, and he said no good would come of it. And so over the years, that became the curse. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But uh, the storm last week took out the rest of the windows. It was nowhere near this open. Even when Brandon was here, the other, you know, what's that, two weeks ago, Brandon? Three, mm -hmm. you were here? It was, it was nowhere before. near this open then. It would have been right before Thanksgiving. Okay, yeah. Wow. So I left for Miami Beach. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that big storm just obliterated the rest of the windows that were left. Of course, they've all been there since the 50s, so. All right. And the roof has begun to leak since that storm. I think it did a lot more damage than we even know. By the way, oh, yeah. By the way, you guys could not be on the roof. Well, uh, I don't want to go on the roof. Well, if you fall through, it's quite a drop. So. Don't worry, you land in water. You hope? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Me, I would get it just like this. <laughs> <laughs> but there's our whirlpool. Yep. Seriously, seriously, the water's trying to turn and turbine that he's not there anymore. So, making the making There's the circuit, one. That's it. See it? Making the circuit and then emptying out through the dam. From here to the floor, it would have been about 20 feet. Yeah. So you can see how much mud and silt is in here. Oh, yeah. You see the, it there? Uh, yeah, I see yeah, it. Yeah, the darker areas, and with all this wind in here, you won't be able to see it much. But you can see the outline of where the turbine sat in the wells. Okay. Yeah. That sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. You can't swim by the Good at doing on this balcony. Are we going up there? Oh yeah, sure. Right. This uh, area up here is where Zach and his crew filmed there. Yeah, they got a heat <laughs> signature or a shadow person inside they got, there. They, yeah, they got a. I call it a shadow figure, but yeah. Call it a dark entity. But uh, he up here, he's real skittish. He'll run through. He's really pretty foul up here. Doesn't like to do it. Doesn't like to do it. Right. Um, we think, I mean, it's only conjecture, the lockers were either for the security thing here or for the men that actually worked out on the spillways. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else makes sense to have lockers up here for someone's equipment. No kidding. You know, I mean, nothing else, it doesn't make any sense. Try it on for size. Yeah. Try it Get on in for there. size. Hey, Nathan. <laughs> no, I think I'll fit. Full size locker. We're trying to get Autumn to try it on for size. Come on, Autumn. Come on, Autumn. Yeah, you only be in there for a little bit. <laughs> get in there. You're the bully. All the others have bodies in them. Go ahead. Okay. You know, we need to fill up the last one. I think that one ran away. <laughs> <laughs> or it got scared. Nobody's been shot at. Yeah, you know, this place, uh, once it became vacant, uh, I've talked to guys much older than me that were here at the time. So in the 60s and 70s, it was just a big old vacant building. Yeah. And it was vandalized, and they robbed the marble out of the bathrooms and the light fixtures and so on. Jeez. Gunshots and, you know. Just the usual stuff. But in those days, it was just an old building. And now, you know, it's, it's something else. It's more historic and 
in my mind, you know, it, it's also with the. I think this one ran away too. With well, the entities the and stuff, you know, it's a lot of what? They didn't realize. You know, what it was. Yeah. Hey, check it out. There's a feather in this one. Must be an Indian. Uh, there was, yeah. There's two feathers in this that's, one. That's from the pigeon tribe. <laughs> Let's see, what was his name? Dragon Canoe or something Dragon like that? Dragon Canoe was the, yeah, that was the Cherokee Chief. Now, is that theoretically a real person? That's a real person. In fact... But they just threw it together as a story for here. No, it, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, a, see, when I started doing the tours here, I was taught that you tell them that all of this was due to the Cherokee curse and that's why the dam failed. Right. And so I did a lot of my own research. And Dragon Canoe was a real person. Mm -hmm. He re did refuse to sign the treaty. Um, and like I was telling you earlier, they asked him why he wouldn't sign the treaty. And he said, because, uh, he said, I do not know why anyone would want the land. Right. He said, it's soaked in blood, it's a sacred place, and it's cursed, and no good will come of it. Right. And that became the Cherokee curse. Actually, what he did, he sort of prophesied. But ironically, he was the one that hated the the settlers and this was his village so you know here we are I don't know time wise 80 years or 100 after he vacated here right they built the dam here on the side of his village which is kind of ironic yeah it was called little town really of running, Nathan little town of running water is what it was what did he, do? he spit no, he oh you'll contaminate the water man don't spit in it <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked like it came right off of you and went and straight there, down. One more person on tour asked me, where does this go? I'm going to shoot him. <clears throat> it I, goes to the high dive. Now I just tell him it goes up. Oh, I did that last night just for the hell of it. What? We were walking and I found some stairs. Hey, where do these stairs go? They go up. <laughs> And then I heard Ghostbusters. I'm like, yep. <laughs> yep. That was actually on television. Oh, oh man. Gosh. Oh, uh, by the way, this costume tape on here, do you see why? I'm not leaning on it. But really, I mean, uh, I have been warning everyone forever, but I think it's getting worse. Oh, yeah. And, uh, that one has no thing right there. Of, there's only like two or three on this whole panel down through the hole. Um, I tell you something to watch though. Late at night sometimes, this does this like this. Yeah. Not that violent, but it'll do it like that for no reason and just do it. Huh. And uh, the first night it did it, I put my fingers on it and it stopped. Uh -huh. and if you put your fingers on it now, it won't stop. So well, due to the wind coming through, so it's gonna keep I making it. The wind doing it. I don't know. But there's an entity that walks this this aisle right here, up and down. He will come through, K2 meters or whatever you're using will light up and go off. Right. You know, he's here, he's gone. But I have learned that sometimes he'll come through and it's a 50-50 shot. He's chasing, he might catch him. He's, you know, he walks here and he goes back and he walks. Um, we use an Ovulus a lot. Oh yeah, we were using Ovulus 3 well, and an Ovulus 5. We've got a 5. Brandon and I had a discussion about, he's not so sure, he's a firm believer in it. But on the ovulus here, the same entity will ask for a report. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got names with that. I really think the one that walks there was a security guard. Because he'll ask a report like that, you know, and I've got to where I'll answer and I'll make something up and talk to him for a minute. There's good activity in here, guys. There's, there's a lot of good activity just have to wait on it. Yeah. Especially in this area, we do a lot of the sit in the dark thing in here. It works really good in here. That's one thing that we can't really do is sitting still. Sit still. No, we got to keep moving. <laughs> well, it's, you know, I used to move, 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 and so you don't know all this. See, I'm, I was talking about it earlier. I truly am the new guy in this. And, uh, I think I'm going to go this way. I'm, Less water. I'm learning about the paranormal in the ghost town. Uh huh. And I'm running this business. I just got dumped into my life, you know. 
and I'm glad. I mean, I'm really enjoying it, but it's been a steep learning curve. And seeing all you guys know one another, because you've been doing this for a while. Oh, yeah. See, and I don't. And, uh, you know, so I'm meeting everyone. I'm learning this and doing that. It's, uh, it's been pretty, pretty strenuous sometimes. These panels here would have had lots of old meters and gauges. There's only a couple left. The right. cool thing about them is they are marble. Wow. Yeah, they the are. The reason is they didn't have anything else that would not absorb moisture. All right. And once it absorbed moisture, you would have electricity jumping circuits. And uh, it's like two inches thick. These old panels back here, these are marble too. Yeah. But here, they still have the maintenance check tags hanging on them. See them there, there. To give you a little more light. See there? Oh, yeah. Probably from the 50s or 60s, the last time they were checked. Uh, but all that stuff just hangs. We try not to disturb anything much like that anymore. Just, you know, it's just, you can't replace it. True. <laughs> We are working on cleaning this up. Uh, we're not finished by any means, but it's getting better. The cleaning has increased the activity a lot. Oh yeah, well see, when you go ahead and uh, disrupt their habitat, they get pissed. You know, we couldn't decide if they were happy we cleaned it up or if we opened the pathway. See what we were cleaning yesterday? Yeah. See that's falling from there. Oh yeah. And what it is is the roof is leaking and it comes through from the roof to the third floor to the second floor. Uh, they're over there. You want to go with them? We'll go here. Yeah. I'm going to turn my light on here. <clears throat> like I said, we're not through. We're just we're doing the pilot up and get it out sort of technique. But uh, these last few storms really started getting a lot of water in here. This was the control room until the 50s. These panels here are marble also. Uh, lots of meters and everything. This reel right here, this was a telephone. Remember, no cell phones, no computers. So this reel, he would get a phone call, pull it out, make the switch over here, whatever needed to be done. All the operations of the dam were run in here until 52, 53, when they did the powerhouse extension, they moved the control room to the other building. Hmm. Yes, those are porcelain. Pretty good. In here, uh, if you ask for stovepipe, he's here. That was his name. They called him as a nickname. We uh, found some more information on him. He worked in the steam plant showing coal. Mm -hmm. And uh, they called him Stovepipe because he was always covered in the coal soot in the black. So huh. they called him Stovepipe. So you can ask for him up here, sometimes he'll help you out. All right. And this mezzanine here. <laughs> Watch your step, that's for me. Yes. Sure. Uh, it's, it's really hard to imagine how much wiring would have come out the back of this control panel. A lot. A, a, an incredible amount. Right. All the operations of the dam were run from that, those control panels, so it was massive. Oh yeah, all the wire came out of the pipe right there. And uh, this whole area up here is a little odd. And again, some of it's just kind of guesswork. But see here, this would have been like your show place. We're generating electricity. You can see everything working. Show everybody the good deeds. What's the big hook for? Okay, that goes with this crane here. This crane. I didn't show you from down below. That's a 30-ton crane. Uh, she was brand new, uh, very late 20s, very early 1930s. Wow. Uh, by the time they moved the other dam, it was outdated by then. Uh, all of the old I-beams are riveted together. They're three-piece I-beam. Yeah. Nowadays, those come single-piece from the foundry. And uh, 
it just was was not worth moving. I'm guessing was why they left it. And uh, of course, it would have cost so much to move it. Why would you bother? But uh, like I said, this was kind of your show place here. Yeah. This entryway here would have been probably very amazing. Uh, the marble on the wall and uh, the stairs here are marble. In transportation, really. I that's where I had to. No, it's just really weird. For some weird, weird, weird reason, my cover opened up. Oh, well, I heard all by itself. I heard it went. Yeah. Um, the Oculus told us uh, a couple of times he's directed me over here to get a photograph of an orb. Right. Um, he said Window River. Right. And we came over here and we got a shot of an orb over here. Uh -huh. um, and then he told me to shoot up. Was, photographs yeah and the audio so I was holding the one hand and it set up and I took three photographs up and the third one he was the, uh, the orb was up there huh yeah so I don't know I don't know if, if they're becoming accustomed to that uh while I'm thinking about it yeah on your equipment he asked if you got a camera don't answer <laughs> if you tell him yes I'll get all of the all of the stuff uh -huh. yeah. But see, th this is kind of an odd area though. See, I mean, you come in, it's really fancy. I can't imagine them not having some sort of window so that you could look in here and see this. Yeah. See the lights here that would have displayed, display board, yeah. diagram, whatever. It's sort of a publicity area, I think. I mean, and the only way onto the other side, unless they built a wall in here differently, would have been through the control. All right. What are you doing? Water. You didn't bother to tell me how you wear my work boots. Yeah, you have to wear your boots in here. <laughs> this is fast becoming an outdoor location. I stepped in some weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Uh, these were the only two that I had lost. Where are you running to? Uh, by the way, you can close these doors if you want to stop the draft. Where are you going? Here. How are you going to pass? I'm just saying it's up here. Huh. Oh. I want to go down there. I'm going up there. Uh, oh, we've already been up there. I've been up there. We haven't. They have. I've already been up there. Oh, up there. The that was the substation. 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 Yeah. 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 The, the power substation. In the old days, all factories, they tried to self-contain them in one bit. It was just the old style of doing it. We went up there, didn't we? No. Oh, we well, hell. We came right past that. That's right. We went straight into there. I was going to get you there eventually. Ooh, that makes noise. But yeah, it's very, very windy up here. Nice view. Uh, oh, some yeah. of the best view anywhere except for the roof. No, Nathan, you can't go to the roof. All right, that is. That's your trap for him. I, you know, if it had not been for the conduit for the light in the ceiling below, yeah. he would have fell through. Mm. And if you catch me in the right mood, I kind of think too bad you didn't. Wow. <coughs> it's it's only, like, hey, see, here. see that ball over there? Go get it for me. <laughs> it, it, it's, just, it's just ongoing. Oh, you see it? Keep people from... Go over there and get it, right there. What is it? What do you got? That green one. Go get it, Autumn. That one? Yeah, go get it. Go get it, Autumn. Yeah. Bring it back. I got no milk can out of there. It's pop top. <laughs> um, yeah. You said not to go in there, so I wasn't into the rules. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got normal size. That's not what it is. Woo, man, it's leaking in there. Yeah, right. it's ready. And you know, it has been leaking, but this last big storm really made it. Wow. Ah, there's the birds again. Make it shit on. I'm really worried. Turn it off. I'm really worried about the Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, we just, we got, it's getting really we got, dilapidated. We got a visit from TVA. I tell you what, don't look up. <laughs> yeah, you might get something. You might get shit on. But up here, the activity is a little sparse. It just depends. Yeah. I've got orbs in here flying around a little bit. But a lot. I don't know what the deal is about third floors. It's like maybe they don't like the wind either. Yeah. Whatever you do, uh, Joe, don't look up. I said, whatever you do, don't look up. That's gorgeous. You're making shit on it. There's your shot right there. Right here. Look. Come over here. Look at that shot. I'm not sure. Look at that shot. That is an awesome shot. That's the quarry down lower. See the rocky face there? That's just a creep factor right there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. You can go closer, huh? Oh, wow. Something. You're gonna get your lens wet. Yeah, I know. There's like yeah. stairs See over there. The lag mines, there's lag types hanging there. Uh -huh. That's what I was telling them. I asked them, do you know what these are? See? Here, take a look. Yeah, it's where it drips. It's like in a cave. Yep. It's cold. It's calcium. Mm, calcium. So where do those stairs go that are way back there? The stairs go up to the roof. Oh, no. Uh, oh, wow. There's a whole bunch it. of them. I got it locked. Yeah, you can't go up there. Oh, See, he told you. Look, that, that old roof, I'm, I'm not even sure. I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's a long way down. That's concrete, but that's concrete. I don't think I want to put any more weight on it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you imagine walking up these with the camber rig? Yeah, it's too steep. The regulations. That's why they're awkward to come down. They're wrong. You 
I did not go over here. They were all on the other side. This other side over here is the executive offices. Or was. I guess it's where we kind of do the things. We have a poker game right there. Um, Shit, the card's home. There's good activity here. Really good. Really? Really good. Here, here, here. Uh, I just keep trying that. Uh, here, there's a young lady named Linda that's here. If uh, bring your equipment, she'll come and play a little bit. She's quite young. We figure 14, 15. I think we got that on a uh, spirit board. This is 14. And this part back here, this is a little oddity, but uh, these stalls are like an addition to the transformer room, which is downstairs. All right. Each one of these stalls would have held two capacitors. That was to control the surge of electricity. The generators make DC electricity. Okay, and modern dams do it also. It's much easier to generate DC. Then it's inverted to AC. So you have 6,000 volts nominal uh, DC current when you invert it that gets you 43,000 volts of AC current. The capacitors would have helped control the surge. That's not something I want to stick my tongue on. No, you well, if you want to. You wouldn't want to step between that, no. <laughs> uh, also, it, and I don't know who documented it, but I've been told since day one that in this wall back here, there are two bodies in this wall, somewhere between here and wherever. Story goes, one man fell into the concrete as they're pouring the wall, and his friend tried to get him out. He falls in also. You're shaking your head, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I don't, you, know, you know, look, I work construction too, and I know uh, a body in the concrete would leave a void eventually, unless there was enough weight to just crush it into something that didn't matter. But the story says they couldn't get the bodies out, and they're here. Now, I have some UDPs where I asked that he fall in the concrete. He says yes, and the Oculus has asked us for help in here several times. Huh. So, I mean, I it could just be some legend myth, you know, and I agree, yeah. but, and I do, I, I always try to be the skeptic. I try not to just buy into everything that, you know, yeah. but I've been told repeatedly by several people that this was the location. Yeah. And I'm not like... But, but working, working in industrial maintenance and building and things, I know a body in that would leave a void that would weaken it. You know, who knows? Yeah, it's not like I'm saying, oh, you're lying. Or you're I know, lying. you know, I mean, yeah, but, you know, there's no solid concrete verification yeah. that I've seen. Uh, and we hear stories over and over that supposedly there's three men buried at various locations here. But have I seen a body or a hand sticking out of the wall? No, <laughs> you know. She I didn't knows. see a hand sticking to the wall. I don't think we'd be here. <laughs> Just the old bonies part. Just the... I mean, like last night, we were over at uh, the hospital. The hospital, yeah. Damn. We were in, we were in ICU, and Brandon comes up with these really kick-ass ideas. So he played He's a EKG, yeah. and all of a sudden, we heard a oh, he told us the door. That. Yeah, they was knocking on the door. And I go, Brandon, the door. Go look. He said, Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's over here saying. If that was you, go go ahead and do that again. And it did it again. And boy, he got up and he's standing there right at the door, like this. Kick the door. <laughs> he wouldn't open it. He just kicked. It was the funniest damn thing I've ever seen. We we were over there, and uh, we kept seeing movement at the end of the hall, and we got this impression that they weren't happy with us. And I found out why later. Yeah. I'll tell you about that. It's another story completely. But I was being all goofy, and I said, uh, can you tell me where the cafeteria is? And <laughs> I was expecting some kind of response from them. Right. And all the people that were with me, I looked around and laying on the floor laughing. They're like, that's the craziest thing. I'm like, well. <laughs> but I told them, too, I told, I, there was something that was like chasing us around. I told them that we were just there to visit the sick and spread some good cheer for the day, you know. And he left us alone. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. But uh, we had the Oculus there, and we were on the second floor by the nurse's station. Yeah. And there were so many trying to speak to the Oculus that all they could do was go, 
it, 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 it couldn't say anything because there were so many of them. And I left my digital recorder at the nurse's desk and told them, you, you want to tell me something, come by. And we came back and it was laying in the middle of the hall and it hasn't worked since. I know we were using the Echo Box last night and boy, we couldn't make edgewise. Uh, see, I kept asking them, you know, one at a time. Yeah. And he would get a word and then it would just go back to her. Yeah, you know, and it was funny as hell because, um, pardon my language. Oh no, you he I was called French an French asshole. Literally. He was called an asshole. And he goes, did you just say asshole? And then it said, fuck it. <laughs> I about all died. I got so frustrated with the ovulus that I turned it off. Yeah. And I said, let's go take a break. And we're picking everything up in this little voice. And I can just picture a little old man. And this voice said, now. Yeah. I said, did you say that? And no. And I got to thinking about it. You know, there's a rug in the hallway. Yeah. We were all like across the hallway, sitting down or on our knees. He was telling us to get out of the hallway. Now. That's what, and we heard now, like that. And you got this feeling that, you know, you needed to leave, you know. So it yeah. was just a little irate with us blocking the hallway, I guess. But, yeah, that was right. amazing. I was not prepared for the hospital. Yeah. I really, I, I just, I, I had no idea it was going to be like that. And when I got over there, um, I had to have a day of reflection after that. I had to sit down for a while after that. It was amazing. I've never seen activity like that. Mm -hmm. um, that was it's good here, but I'm not like there. Yeah, that was my second time there. But uh, I had asked, well, call me, you know, call me a nasty name. Yeah. And then the asshole came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's me. Any kind of response is a response. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's what we're looking for, you know, I want a response. But hey, he asked for it, and then, but he's like, asshole, I guess. That wasn't good enough. Then they came out and said, fuck it. No, I asked it to repeat also, myself. Yeah. Also, I didn't know any better. And when we got there, there was nothing going on. I'm pretty sensitive. And I was like, what's the big deal? There's yeah. nothing here. And we played with the wheelchairs. Oh, yeah. Autumn did oh, that. Well, no, and I've been told since then that I angered more than one by playing with the wheelchair. Mm. And that's when all the activity started. Uh, it was when we played, we, we were running the wheelchairs up and down the hallway and being children, and yeah, uh, and yeah they, they were angry. We started getting activity because we were ignoring them. We didn't uh, pay any attention to them. Yeah, well, you just sit and be quiet and don't say anything. And oh, no, we, we were just talking amongst ourselves. We didn't even, we started hearing noises, but we didn't acknowledge it. We were ignoring them. And Brandon said, yeah, when you start ignoring them, they get, they get a little mad and they start wanting to they are, show uh, more. Yeah, they want the attention of yeah. But I want to go back. I know more about it now. Um, more yeah, about he's what going to back expect. March next yeah, year. March. Yeah. We could come to Waverly with us. We're going in March. I've never been to Waverly. I'll go be, back to Waverly, but when is it? March 17th, I believe. So, I got February with you. Yep. We're at St. Albans. Then the events... Brandon has over there. Right. I believe April is the event here. Yes, I agree. It's supposed to go here too. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I should be able to. April, we're going to be filming a movie. So we won't be anywhere. A movie? Yeah, we landed a movie deal. Really? We're the paranormal group in the movie. Cool. <laughs> but it's also a project that uh, my girlfriend's been working on for the longest time. Uh, we've been we've, we've been working on that. Off here. <laughs> yeah, turn the camera off. Yeah, yeah, I did that a while ago. Please turn it off. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you guys mess with the trifield meter. Tell you what? Do you mess with the trifield meter? You know, a gauss meter. You know what Does like he have a trifield one? Oh, you're talking about the like a K2 EMF. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. Okay. I got one. All right, you know, an EMF meter alone will not do anything, but yeah. sometimes, you know, a trifield is measuring microwaves and other things. Microwaves, yeah. magnetic. Right here, sometimes you get incredibly high readings, and then it's nothing. And uh, I had a uh, lady, paranormal medium, whatever she told me, she said she thought there was a portal here. What? Okay. And it would open. That's when we get the high readings, it would open. And then we got nothing and it would close. 
There's been no kind of utilities in here since 1962 or three, I believe. So there's no reason for that to trigger like that that I can think of. Actually, you've got a big reason why that could happen. What is it? You've got a whole lot of water underneath this building. The water is a conduit. Water right? would cause that. <coughs> it can cause. It can, yeah. Water like I a mean, conduit. It's possible. I mean, and you know, I mean, it's here sometimes, and then sometimes it's not. Yeah. The it's, advantage with this place is that you got flowing a large body of water just coming yeah. straight through. Sure. Also, the it's, theory, it sits on limestone. Yeah, and the theory. The, build, the building, the, they went to the bedrock. What is coincidental about that? Yeah, yeah. limestone and flowing water, you know, but I mean. I know, but, but do you know what's con coincidental about that? Well, it, well, Old well, South well, Pittsburgh Hospital is built on limestone. Is it? And there is a stream running underneath. I didn't know that. That's what so makes that's it why, so powerful. Know, it's like I a believe, paranormal yeah. conduit, I know we have a conduit yes. Yeah. Limestone. Yeah, Waverly Hills is built on limestone, but I don't know about a stream though. I don't know about a stream either. Yeah. Every place that's built on limestone has a large amount of uh, activity. Yeah, and, and I've always been told that limestone and flowing water, well, if the bedrock is limestone it. and you've got the river, I mean, you couldn't ask for much more. Oh, yeah. You know? yep. But that's one of the reasons that this old building failed, is because with a limestone foundation, Holy shit, what's that? That is what your and my grandfather would call a chimney sweep nest. Oh, it's a bird's nest. It's a bird's nest. Okay. Yeah. They live Look like a damn hornet's nest. No, they live in uh, like in chimneys. Yeah. Um, the, there's nests will set the chimney on fire. The old folks hated them for that reason. <laughs> and they just stick it to the wall, some kind of... Damn uh, birds! <laughs> uh, I gotta pee. Where's... Where's the, uh, the restaurant right here, but I'm not promising you where the plumbing goes. <laughs> uh, more marble in the restrooms. It must have been either a kickback deal or it was very cheap. I just, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. There's the toilet right there. But these were the executive offices here, here, here. Um, That's where the went. You can always go out the window. Nobody will know. It's too cold. <laughs> Yeah, it is cold. I'm already. Uh, I can't I'm in. already doing the scared turtle. This here uh, would have been the conference room, and uh, these things painted orange here. These were old telephone conduits. Yeah. In um, the very very early all days, right. very very early days, it would have been something really amazing to have telephones in the conference room. Oh man. The old fluorescent light fixtures with uh, those are blue side panels. Yeah. Shit, I and can't even feel my fingers. Ha! <laughs> That's our buddies. That's awesome. My uh, camera's never done that before. Oh, on its own? Oh, things do a lot of stuff when you're on your own. Alright, the original use for these tunnels was to house the power transmission lines. Right. They would have lain in these racks here, big cables, come through these registers down here at the end. The power came from the steam plant, which was built out here to keep up with the demand for electricity. And then it was transmitted through these tunnels on the cables into the transformer house to be inverted to AC electricity and then sent up to the substation. I can't walk the top of the same time I know. <laughs> um, but uh, all these trays, and remember this is all done in the 20s, right? Right. This is installed in the 20s. These trays were built out of a brand new material back then, and I forgot the proper trade name for it, but the two brand new materials were fiberglass and asbestos fibers. Love asbestos. Well, it's not going to hurt you unless you stir up the dust out of it. But oh, yeah. It's It's... You know, it was something that was state of the art, and it's something we wouldn't dare use now. You know? What in the hell is all that? Okay, these. What are wheels? No, those are insulators for the cables to mount on. Really? Yes, and uh, most of them have collapsed. See, look. And they're heavy suckers too. Yeah, they are. They are ceramic. And or, falling apart. They're they're ceramic or porcelain. I don't know which wow. which is which. Nice. I don't know how to tell porcelain from ceramic. I think that's porcelain. Yeah. Anyway, the high voltage lines will be mounted on these to insulate. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But by the time they left, these were outdated. No one uses them anymore. And they were brand new in the crates. 
and they've lain here until the crates have rotted away from them. Damn. And they're useless. Huh. Except we did find uh, on eBay someone was selling them as long art. Damn. Okay, the toys are here. We call this the children's room. I see. Toys with dirt triggers, of course. In a freaking tunnel, a kid's room, really? Well, there were investigators here way before I was coming that felt like there were a lot of children's spirits here. Uh -huh. And they used this room to kind of locate them, to bring them, bring them down here. The activity here varies from so-so to not at all. Huh. For me, anyway. Uh, I've had other investigators say they get good activity down here, but hey, you never know. Well, that's going to be fun to be down here in the dark. Come and try. What, like I said, once it gets dark outside, it's so dark in here that you never gain night vision. You can't ever get to where you can see. I always remember to stay on this wall. Yeah, you don't want to get dark. Light. We have not got everything fixed here. This will be painted and reflectorized a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to get spiked. All this wood and this laying here, it's so seasoned and hard to get out the hell of it. Watch your head. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking we're going to take this down. Get them out of here. These old things are part of the lamps. Very cool. No, you can't help me. <laughs> I just don't take anything out here. I just don't want anybody to take anything anymore. Good Lord, is a long ass tunnel. By the way, you see the wood? Yeah. It's not, it's concrete. But the uh, Concrete puts so much pressure on the forms when they poured it yeah. that you can literally feel the grain in the wood. Huh. You can run your finger over it and you can feel it. So this is where they feel that someone is following them. Why would it be some why would they get the idea that someone is following them? Did was there a tragedy that happened somewhere in these tunnels? I don't know if they got you know, but a lot of times the activity is really good down here, uh -huh. and as you move to another place, they seem to go with you sometimes. Okay, makes sense. Okay, uh, I'm trying to do this so I don't do too much backtracking. All right, we call this the crossroads. Uh, okay. Just because it's where it all comes together. Right here, we get really, really good activity. At times, this is the most active place in the whole park. Always. It, it, it changes. Here it changes. It's not the same. They'll be here for a month or two. Right. Then the activity will be more on the second floor. Here's that point. All right. This tunnel here. Doesn't go very far. Uh, yeah, it does. It goes to the other building. <coughs> Over here is building two. Actually, 